Hey guys, here's how I made this crocheted bunting with cross stitch letters. I used red heart yarn. I learned how to crochet a triangle from a helpful YouTube video, which is linked in the description. I used a 5mm crochet hook. I left extra yarn at the end. Place the yarn over the hook with the end facing forward. Bring the end of the yarn to the back, wrapping around the longer end. Then bring the longer end over to the front of the hook and pull it through the loop created. This is a slip knot. Bring the longer end over to the front again and pull it through the loop created. This is the first chain stitch. I made 18 chain stitches. In the third stitch from the end, I made a single crochet. To do this, go through the stitch, yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Repeat this with each stitch. When you reach the end, make one chain stitch and turn it over to start the next row. I tuck the yarn to keep it from curling. Make a single crochet in each stitch. Stop when you reach 2 stitches from the end of the row. Go through the stitch, yarn over and pull it through the loop. Then go through the last stitch of the row, yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the 3 loops. Make a chain stitch and turn it over to start the next row. Repeat the steps until you reach the tip of the triangle. At the end, I made a chain stitch, cut the yarn, and pulled it through the loop. Then I made more triangles. To cross stitch a letter, I made a square in the center of the triangle to use as a guide. It had 6 holes in a row and 6 in a column. I used graph paper to sketch out my letters. Using a tapestry needle, 
Make an X starting from the back. After you make your first stitch, you can remove the tape. On the back, I brought the end of the yarn under a stitch and made a knot. Then I tucked it under a few more stitches and cut the extra yarn. I weave the ends of the triangle along the edge. Next, connect the triangles. Make a slip knot followed by whatever amount of chain stitches you want. Go through the last stitch at the top of the triangle and make a single crochet. Go through the stitch, yarn over, and pull it through the loop. Yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Repeat this with each stitch. I made three chain stitches. Then added another triangle. At the end, I made 40 chain stitches. I weave the end back and forth a few times and cut the extra yarn. I did the same to the other end. Then I ironed the front and back. And here's how it turned out. This went well with my DIY crocheted pumpkins.